Welcome back to the Woodland Realm. And as you guys can see, Framsburg has been renamed into Vinia Menegroth. Thank you, Elisar Teleconta, for the suggestion. If you guys have more name suggestions, then feel free to send them over. I haven't. I think there might be another suggestion uh, for a name that I haven't yet paid attention to, but I can't quite remember. But there we go. Framsburg is now Vinia Menegroth. That's good to see. And this episode is not... I don't have the time to record for one and a half hours this episode. It's going to be like 35, 40-ish minutes because that's the window of opportunity that I have today for recording. So I just wanted to get something out there for you guys today. And in this episode, the plan is to try and take Aeolstone back with Legolas. We're just going to get a ram and then we're going to just fire all of our shots on the... Uh, the guys inside, and if we're lucky, this guy, who knows, maybe he will stand outside of Gundabad and maybe we can sneak over with Legolas and just attack him and lure out the garrison of Gundabad and in that way claim Gundabad for ourselves and then give it to the dwarves in exchange for some cash because we need them to finance us for the moment. We are not in a powerful state, we're trying to get more forces, uh, get some woodland warriors as well. Uh, the thing is, I fear for authority's life in this episode. I really do. I think this army, yeah, we should be able to win, but um, if this army attacks me instantly after I've dealt with this goblin army, then I think authority might just die. That's the current situation. The thing is, we are ac at least going to be able to send these guys over, the Woodland Spearmen. If they attack me straight after the, these goblins have attacked me. So at least we might get a reinforcing woodland spearman unit into the mix. And that is going to help us out quite a lot. Uh, they have some snagger stalkers, goblin band, urkovisiers, some warg scouts as well. You know what? Let's sell out. We have one archer unit. Let's try and max maximize the damage with the archers here. Use all of the ammunition on these archers. Try and weaken this force as much as possible to make us keep as many soldiers alive for the potential next attack of Captain Rook Doug. Let's sally forth and let's try and maximize the damage with the archers. Let's go in. Alright, um, everything is gonna stay inside except one spear unit and one archer. They're gonna try and protect the Woodland Scouts if the Wargs try and rush for me or something. So we want to have these guys with the archers if something bad happens. Start the battle, let's get out. Let's try and just maximize the damage on these guys. Try and use every bit of ammunition that we have with these archers. Spears, you're gonna walk. Archers, you're gonna run into range. You are elves and you're really fast. The scary thing is that they have a warg unit, but um, they're not as fast as... The, the infantry is not as fast as the wargs, <laughs> so hopefully we can get some shots off here. Orc fighters, maybe. Get a volley, there we go. Got some kills. 1% of the enemy force has been killed. Keep this going. Get even closer. Goblin infantry, go for some volleys. Spears, get closer. Yeah, look at that, we're getting some damage done. 2% of the enemy force has been killed. Okay, they're coming for me. Can I, uh, just stay where you are. Fight the goblin infantry. Orc fighters moving in as well. Cut back a bit. Oh, the walks are closing in. Those are the ones we want to try and avoid. Uh, walk scouts, yeah. We don't want to take any losses here. Yeah, these walk scouts. 5% of the enemy force has been killed. The walk scouts are closing in. They are going to be able to catch up to us, sadly. Let's see if we can go back inside quickly with our units. Yeah, here they come, the walk scouts. Can we kite all the way back inside without them hitting us? Yeah, they're not too fast. Okay, they're backing off. Good. Harass the walk scouts a bit then. There we go. This is good. Great damage. They're going back again. 
do the same thing. Just use every bit of ammunition that we have on them. Go for the skirmishes now, they're the closest ones. Just weaken whatever you can weaken here. I'd rather fire at the orc fighters instead. Go for the orc fighters. Go for the melee forces instead. Yeah, look at that. We're doing some solid damage to them here. 11% of the enemy force has been killed. And we're out of ammunition. Go back inside and exit out. This should maybe save a few lives at least. Uh, we could just maybe move out here and win the battle, actually. We could potentially do that. Uh, and win. And save authorities life. And uh, no, go back inside and just uh, wait. Can we exit out? Your sally has been successful. You may leave the battle. Okay, I will trust this and leave the battle then. There is no Draw. Here today. 200 orcs Neither killed. Better than nothing. There we go. They've been a bit weakened. Good. Okay, baggage train lost. So we did lose a few bucks because of that. Well, we did kill a few of their forces. So I guess it was worth it. It was worth it. Okay, they're still besieging me though, uh, of course. But we have done some damage to them. And hopefully they should break a little bit easier with this. Okay. You're headed over towards this area to try and take up command or governorship of Earlstone. Keep moving. We might even send you to Rackeberg and this guy could go for Vinya Menegroth. And then this guy could move for Earlstone. What we are going to do, actually, now that I think of it... This is a general. We might need to kill him as well. Uh, do they have any family member? They have one guy inside of Mount Gundabad. We are also going to take out their Maruder chief Gorthak. He is going to die as well today. We have archers, we have two Malifors. We actually have some Dalian cavalry with us as well today. Um, hopefully they can charge them in the back or something. Let's go in, let's take down their faction leader. No, their faction heir. This is their faction heir. Uh, pretty solid commander. He's about to die. Let's go in. Evil must not be Remains as such. Okay, we're going to try and just harass uh, their general with uh, our bo bodyguard here. Start the battle, and you're actually in range. They're fairly cl close to us. Let's begin firing at them. Melee forces. Prepare. Stand over here somewhere. Cavalry go to the top there. The Tavar Arenyur. Mighty unit, only 37 guys though, which is a bit sad, but they're still good. Look at that, we've killed one guy already. Not as powerful as Leoglas, of course, <laughs> but they're still, they're still okay. Look at that, we're, we're doing some damage to them. And if we get to fire constantly on them here, we are going to be able to weaken them entirely after a while. Yeah, look at that, we're beginning to get more kills on them now. 65 remaining, we're actually doing great damage to them. With the general. We're doing really great damage to them here. Slowly but surely they're getting their asses whooped. Don't engage them if we don't have to. Let the archers do the heavy lifting in this fight. 43 guys remaining. Kite over there, then. Remains. Yeah, 36 guys remaining, and they are getting beaten more and more each passing second. Are they gonna go after the archers now? Looks like it. Okay. Uh, you know what, General? Maybe you should go in against them. Okay, they're relocating again. General, get back. Okay, they're relocating again. Go for a wallet. These guys will charge these guys in the back now. You know what? Take the melee fight with them. You are quite powerful in melee, so you can fight against them. Hopefully my general won't die, though. That would suck. My general leads over there. He's in a good position. He's in a decent spot. 
Yeah, we're taking the melee fight with them. We are going to replenish our general, so it, it's not too bad. The cavalry go for a quick charge, and I want the Beyonding Axemen to charge them in the back after the cav has charged them. 25 guys remaining, and my general is in a good spot here. He's fighting one of the guys there. Here comes the Dalian cavalry. And we're getting a few kills on them. Well done, cavalry. Well done. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. 12 guys remaining. Here comes the Beyonding Axemen. Great armor piercing axe wielders. Send them in and get this glorious charge off. Yeah, this is gonna hurt them. We're likely gonna get a few kills here. General. Oh, you did just get a kill there. Well done. Let's see if we can get another kill. They have two guys standing here. There we go. Kill another. Kill the last guy now. They're broken, fighting to the death. Finish them off then, and finish off the general. He's standing over there. Behold Continue. Don't let him escape. It's time to press the attack. Oh, he's stuck. There we go. Keep hacking him. Oh, he's escaping. <laughs> Cavalry, you can finish the job then. Don't let him escape. Whatever you do. Oh, almost. Come on, archers. Or cavalry, just get him killed. There we go. This Good. Is a clear victory. Great work. We lost 12 guys. And those losses came from the Tavar Arenir. So, they will replenish. No harm done here. Maruder Chief Gothak has been killed. Oh, we captured him. Ransom value of five grand. I don't care. Execute him. Get back inside of Vinya Menegroth. There we go. How is the culture looking? 27, of course. Yeah, we look that. And yeah, we're going to want to get the practice range as soon as the culture is up at 33%. Okay, uh, let's end the turn. Uh, as I've said, this army shouldn't be much of an issue to deal with. But this one is the one I'm scared of. Let's end the turn. We are also besieged here. But over here, man, we are... They're never going to win. We have the militia garrison here as well. So let's just end the turn. And see what happens. Who will have their turn first? Will it be Dol Guldur or will it be the goblins? I'm not entirely sure here. What will happen with Orthordir? Looks like Dol Guldur will have their turn before before the goblins. Have they made their move here? No, I don't think that they have, that they have made their move yet. Uh, Captain Ugrad is moving in with some pathetic armies. Uh, no problems here. Let's take them out. We can use the elven defenders as just me shields while we fire at them with the elder council and the woodland wardens and the woodland scouts. And even the general as well. My Finland, it's time for you to take out Captain Ugrad. Let's go in. This is a castle. And castles are quite great. Uh, they have one of those guys on the ladders. And they have the maulers standing together. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to focus those uh, maulers with some javelins. Archers. Take this position here. General, you can stand over there. My Thor, you are not going to be used at all in this fight. I don't think we're, we're going to need to use you. Uh, one Elven Defender can stand over there. And one will just stand guard over here. Yeah, this is the... Oh, what, what are they called? Uh, the standard 3rd Age sword and board unit for the High elf, Elven Faction. I cannot remember what they're called in the regular Third Age version, but uh, this is a nostalgic unit to see on the field of battle. It is. Start the battle. Archers focus the maulers. That's one of the biggest threats we're facing here. They're armor piercing, they can do some solid damage. Everyone focus the maulers. Uh, javelins. Elder Council, I didn't move with you. Uh, try and 
platform up over there. And I want you to th throw your javelins at the maulers as well. Just get the maulers completely wiped out before the battle begins. Dolguldur host are moving up on the ladder. They're going to face the elven defenders here. And they're going to make swift work with these Dolguldur hosts. Let's take a look at their stats. 8 attack, 16 defense. That's really good. It's really good for a defender. But we only have 75 per battalion. So there's not a massive... The battalion is not massive. They're firing at the Dolguldur host. We don't want you to do that. Focus the maulers instead. And there we have them. This is a new unit. We haven't seen these guys yet in the campaign, but this is the first time we see them. The Elder Council. A powerful javelin unit. Really good javelins. Focus the maulers, guys. Destroy them. There we go. This is hurting them so much. The enemy have ladders at the walls. We are doing massive damage to the Maulers. You're done with your volleys. Get back to safety. Go down from the wall. You are not quite done yet, uh, Council. There we go. Nice volley. Focus the other Mauler unit now. It's a bit more healthy. Archers, I think you can now focus the scouts in the back instead. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. 26% of the enemy force has been killed. Woodland Wardens, you're getting down. Great. Go to the square. Elder Council, you still have one more volley left in you. Oh, look at them. They look really cool, these guys. Look at the quality of the faces. It's, it feels like it's much higher quality than the human faces. The elven faces. Oh, everyone needs to go. Back to the square. Get out of there. Get out. Elven defenders. Yeah, the Dolgulur host will get wiped out here. They're not going to survive. The archers are doing massive damage to the enemy here from range. Such a great position, this one, to put your archers at. Well, the council, you can get over there somewhere. Dolgulur archers in the back. I hope that they don't return the fire. I hope that they go into melee. Yeah, these guys are almost spent. The host, 65 remaining. The maulers have been weakened so much. The enemy have the walls. But to our defense, or all will be lost. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost Where are these maulers going? Are they going up the ladder? They're going up the ladder for some reason. Not sure why. Pretty weird. But let them go up on the ladders. That's just going to delay them. They're not going to win the fight here. We only have 49 guys remaining. But they should be able to hold, I think. Against the maulers as well. These guys are going through. You are now going to focus the archers instead. Elva defenders, take the fight over here. We have tower support. We're going to do massive damage to them. Merkwood hunters and Dolgildur archers moving in. Just take the fight here. We might be a bit overrun here, but we still have a few guys over there. No, maybe not, actually. But they're firing back against me. We are going to take a few losses here because of it. I really hope that they wouldn't fire at me, but they did. Hopefully we can kill their general wherever he is located. You know what, go for a volley on these maulers, let's see if we can, can break them. Go for one volley there. Get a few bonus kills on them on the walls. There we go. Yeah, I don't like that they're firing at me. It's not too nice. Are we doing some good damage to them? Keep firing down. Go for the Merkwood Hunters now, they're actually pushing in. They're still not broken, these guys on the walls. I'm a bit surprised. They should break soon. Yeah, they're getting some kills. The maulers are great in, in melee combat. They are decent. 
with their armor piercing huge axes that they have. Look at the axes, they're insanely big. <laughs> Look at that. You're gonna need some muscle in order to wield those kinds of weapons, for sure. Oh, there we go. Nice kill there on that guy. Great work. This guy's stabbing and hacking, but the towers are continuously... Look at that. They're just dropping all the time from the towers. There goes another. There goes even another from the towers. The towers are doing great damage here. They always are. Just fast forward. This battle is over. It's just a matter of time now. Element Defenders fight to the last man. They're still not broken, the guys. Walk Maul is two remaining, but they're still not broken. Oh, there, there, there we go. Now they're broken. There we go. There we go. Battle over. 98% destroyed. 72 losses. And the losses came from the Element Defenders. Only 52 and 34 there, and we did lose two scouts, which is a bit sad, and they didn't heal, so we did lose two scouts, but we can retrain them, it's no problems there. This place is safe, that's good. We captured one mauler, four gold coins in ransom value. <laughs> Try and ransom, oh they rejected it, <laughs> okay, one mauler. They didn't want to pay. And there we go. Dol Guldu's turn have passed. They didn't attack us. That's great news. That means they will definitely go. They're definitely going to attack me though. Um, in the next turn. Uh, but that means that we can get Orthordir out of here after this battle. And that's really really good. Uh, this battle is going to most likely be a quite easy win. So let's go in and take down Captain Astrak. Let's go in. Put an end to this evil and halt this turn of events. Okay. Uh, spread out as much as you can, guys. We don't have too many units here. I want you to be as spread out as possible, infantry. Something like this. Or Thordir, you will take... Um, you will take this area. And you will form up like this as well to keep you safe. And charge in there. I want to make great room for the archers to get some good shots off in a blobbed up area. To do m maximum damage to them. Hold your shots. Start the battle. Wait for them to blob up. Our authority is standing over there. He's as far away from the action as possible. That's good. When we charge him in, he's going to be in the back of the unit. Snaga Stalkers, Urko Viseas, Goblin Band, Orc Fighters, Skirmishers, Hunters, Scouts, and Goblin Infantry on the ladder. Mythor, this is a experienced Mythor unit. This is also a unit I don't want to lose. They have some serious experience, these guys. They're almost up to gold. And that's going to give them 15 total attack. That's a powerful unit in terms of attack. Here we go. Here they come. Wait for them. Spears, you can go forward some bit. Snaga Starkers are moving in. Okay, archers, I think you can go for some shots. Now go for the scouts. They have crossbows, and I don't like crossbows. Start doing some damage to those. Uruk overseers are moving in. Here comes the stalkers. Orc fighters. Uh, yeah, you can go in against the Uruk overseers there. That's okay. Uh, or, or Thordir. Bring them down. Sorry for muting the mic there for a second. I just had to cough quickly. Orthordir is surely going to make swift work out of these Uruk overseers. Even though 8 attack, 17 defense, they're pretty good. But Orthordir is better. Archers, keep up the fire on the scouts, please. Yeah, these spears are getting kind of outnumbered. 
Oh, you're doing the arcing shot. It's terrible. Don't do that. Get over there. Let's see if we can fire in the backs of these fighters instead. Orthology, where are you? You're over there. That's a decent position for you to be at. Good. Looks like the scouts have clonked out outside. Don't focus them then. It's not worthwhile. Uruk over here is broken. Hold here, Orthology. Don't go in yet. Uh, here we go, they're moving in. Go for the Orc Fighters. Oh, they're firing at my Woodland Scouts now. Yeah, you're going in to help again. Okay, kite back. We're not getting any good shots off here with the Archers. Look at that. These Scouts are doing some great damage to us here. Send Orthodid in. Let's go, go back a bit. We, we need to focus those Wargs down. They're actually doing some great damage to me. Focus the scouts. Or Thorder, you are in the front line. You did just get a kill on one of the skirmishers there. Pop the ability. Yeah, a few more archers would have been great here. One archer is not enough. We're not doing enough damage. Oh, they're gonna push now. Maybe I shouldn't have formed up like I did here in this battle. Ah, oh, we're not killing them fast enough here. Woodland Warriors are doing great on the flank. The Mythor have golden chevron experience now. Doing massive damage to the enemy. Or Thordir is in the front lines. He's still not blo blo blotted up. Blotted up? Yet though, oh my god, I can't speak today. It's a bit late when I'm recording and I'm not too <laughs> bloodied up. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, these scouts, man, they're really doing some damage to me. But uh, we're holding the lines. They're not going to be able to penetrate through here. Yeah, look at that. We're just carving up these Snaga stalkers. They have the numbers advantage, but nothing more than that. Keep keep going for the war scouts. Get rid of those disgusting wargs. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Authority, you're still safe. That's good. Come on, get rid of them. There we go, we're seeing some breaking going on now. Stop firing, I think we... Yeah, there we go. Continue and try and chase as much as you can. Oh. Oh, I thought uh, Orthaldir died there for a second, but no, he didn't. Good. 95%, that's enough. Exit the battle. Heroic victory. We still did lose 114 guys. We only have 275 guys remaining. Orthodid 341, Mythorithawire 333. Kind of want to try and save this unit as well. There we go. We should be able to get Orthodid out and the Mythor. Let's get back to the campaign map then. Okay. Yes, we are fine, and what is going on here? They are attacking Leogolas. Okay, well, why not? Let's attack, that's fine, we, we are just gonna destroy you. They have one Ballista though, and Ballistas always scare me a bit. Uh, we have seven Woodland Horse Archers in this army. Those seven Woodland Horse Archers are going to have to go for the Ballista in this fight. They have some Archers though, and those Archers could potentially take out my Woodland Horse Archers. Uh, but this shouldn't be a problem. We have Leoglas and he can kill 5 million Orcs on his own. So <laughs> I'm not too worried. Let's go in. Evil must not be Let's see now if the terrain is going to be... Oh, it's trash. It's looking trash. Uh, we could, you know, maybe not. We could begin the battle over here. In, in this area. It remains to be seen where they will form up. Let's try and use only the archers in this fight. Like always. And the cavalry against the ballista, of course. 
Start the battle. They are over there. Okay, this is good. This is really good. From up over here. Melee forces. Get over there somewhere. Cavalry, get over there. These guys are coming in from here. The Ballista army. Okay. Yeah. We need to go after that army with the cavalry later. Oh, well. We're going to have a nice time against this army at least. Yeah, I mean, archers just form up over there and we should be able to just crush them before they can even reach us. It's the reinforcing armor that I'm a bit afraid of with the ballista. I do not like ballistas because they can do heartbreak things against you. Okay. Snow Raiders, why don't we just demolish that unit quickly? Snow Scout as well, that's also a unit I want to destroy because they can return fire. They have the Mountain Guard over there. Legolas, why don't you focus the Mountain Guard? Get their general killed. And two Woodland uh, Actually, you know what? All of the Woodland Scouts go for the go for the Go for the Snow Orc Scouts. The Woodland Scouts will go for the Snow Orc Scouts. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, they're not yet inside of the battle map, so we're fine there. Do they have any no, no wargs to speak of. That's good to see. We're likely doing massive damage to them here. They have some... Some of goblin infantry. They have some mountain orc hunters as well. They're not fam famous for being strong against archers. One of you can start firing at the those guys as well. Only half the enemy force remains. They're getting closer. Legolas, go for a volley on the Mountain Orc Hunters as well. Try and penetrate that unit. Uh, where is uh, the bodyguard? Where is... Mountain Guard, seven remaining. There we go. They're getting totally wiped out in one, one volley. Go for the Mountain Guard now. Where are they going? See if we can assassinate their general here with Legolas. Everyone, kill their general. That's going to make them break. In a second. Get him killed. Ah, oh, they're getting closer. Okay, kite away. I really hope that we would be able to destroy this army without even needing to kite. But sadly, it looks like we need to kite a bit. Javelins you can throw at the goblin infantry. That's fine. Uh, where did the general go? He's over there. Get him killed, please. It's only two guys remaining. Come on, assassinate him. There we go. Everyone is firing at him. He's still taking the shots, though. He's tanking them. One more volley, though. Should do the trick here. This should be enough. Surely it should. No, it's not enough. Legolas, we need you to save your ammunition for the next armor that is approaching. Maybe my woodland scouts can take him out. As long as he doesn't die, they're never gonna break, so we need to break them. We need to kill him, I mean. Cavalry, go for a quick charge on the mountain orc hunters. Maybe you can destroy them with a charge here. No, we didn't get a good charge off there. Cavalry. Where's the ballista? It's over there in the back. Good. Get over there and go for the ballista. The general refuses to die. He is just eating the shots here. Come on. We're just pe peppering him with our shots here. He cannot have too many hit points left, this guy. It's impossible, uh, the fact that he's alive. Come on, kill the guy. It's getting kind of ridiculous. You need to take a new position. These guys are getting closer. Cavalry, go for the ballista. 
He's so close to us. Get him killed. Just get the guy killed. Shouldn't be much of an issue anymore. There we go. <laughs> Finally. It took a while. And it looks like he actually got a kill on, uh, kill on us. Okay, there we go. The first army should be broken. The cavalry is going in against the ballista. That's good. We're going to silence that. They have Snowhawk Scouts over there. These guys are broken. Ignore them. Go for the Snowhawk Scouts over there. You are going to help with the Snowhawk Scouts as well. Goblin Infantry. This is one of those units that will break as soon as they get close to us. Because their general has been killed. Legolas, focus the Black Shield Warriors. Cavalry, how are things going? You're doing some damage. Pull out. Go for another charge, please. Snowhawk Raiders are chasing after us. These guys are likely going to break as soon as they get into range. We can even throw a javelin volley at them. The enemy army flees the uh, we're getting some good shots off here down. with Leoglas. He's almost out of ammunition though, which is a bit scary. Leoglas, hold your ammunition. Wait for the perfect opportunities before you fire. Take the high ground. Uh, Black Shield Warriors, focus that unit down. You guys are maybe going to try and tie up the spears over there. Cavalry, I was just going for you. Where's the ballista? It's over there. Go for the ballista again. Closing into my archers. Kite them and fire at them. Okay, they're closing in. You guys tie these guys up. Oh, should have moved quicker, I think. Legolas, take a new position. Ah, oh, some of them are straggling. Yeah, get out, get out quickly. Get out. You're so fast. I like that you're fast. It's really good. You're going to fire in these guys' backs now. Just cut away from this unit. Okay. Oh, oh we got to catch the there. Get out. I'm getting kind of... ...clonked out in my positions here. I'm not kiting effectively at the moment. Yeah, these guys are stopping. Let's go for some volley on the Black Shield Warband there. Mali forces try and silence their scouts. They're actually doing some damage to me. Go for a volley there. Try and tie these guys up. Something, just tie something up. You're out of ammunition, go over there. I think we wasted a bit too many shots here. Legolas, go for the Black Shield Warband. You should be able to get some good shots off there. Yeah, we're almost out of ammunition with everything we have. And that's not good. Black Shield Warband is getting crushed though by Legolas, that's good news. You are out. You're out as well. Look, let's try and fire at this raiders now instead. You're going to tie up these guys. Just stop them from firing. Cavalry, how are things going? You're doing well. You still haven't lost a single horse. You're stopping those guys from firing. Leoglas is getting interrupted. He's getting flanked. Oh, this is not good, actually. We need to help him. Where is, where is he? Where is he? He is stuck. He is stuck. Legolas, get your ass out of there now. Ah, he's stuck. He's stuck. He's not getting out. He's not getting out. Oh, there we go. We gotta kill that. Pull out now while they're moving away. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. You get, get into combat with them. Just stop them from hacking on Leoglas. Where is he? Where is he? He's over there. He's getting... He's, he's fine. He's fine. Get out, Legolas. Get out. That could have turned bad. Cavalry, we need you. Ignore the ballista for now. Charge these guys in the back. We have to use you. You're stopping them. Legolas, whatever you do, get out of danger. These guys are broken. Good. Tie these guys up now. Tie them up. You can help. 
Legolas just just get out of here. Get get out. I'm a bit afraid that that was close actually. It was close. Oh, you're not even bloodied up. Black Shield Warband still alive and kicking. These guys are broken. That's good. Black Shield Warriors. Cav, go for the Ballista again. Don't let them return to their Ballista. Okay, good. Good. I think we're fine. We're fine. Charge these guys in the back. Everyone's broken. Finish off the last remaining Black Shield Warband now. You're about to charge these guys in the back. Just try and get them killed. These guys are broken. Let's see if we can break them here. Yeah, we yeah we did win, but we had to use our archers in melee, and that's not nice. Continue the fight a little while. Yeah, I could have done better with the kiting. That shouldn't have wasted so much of my ammunition on this uh, army here. We've killed 95, exit the battle. The heroic victory. It looks like we healed a few units, but it didn't feel heroic. This army is actually getting weaker and weaker each passing battle that we have, but at least we're getting Earlstone back with this victory. And kill wise, yeah, Legos 564 kills. Another win. We did get a bit weakened though, and that's always a sad thing, but there we go. Okay. Execute. This is my settlement again. Occupy the settlement this time. Yeah, I mean... They still have some armies. Left. Bursa is But I think these armies that they have here are their last armies. Except the Bride. Um, yeah, you know what. We are going to ditch out of here. Cancel the building. Cancel it. Culture-wise, we're at 46%. I am going to give Beyond Souls away to Lothlorien in exchange for an alliance. To make sure that the alliance starts. Orthodir, move out. Link up together with this spear unit. And let's use the diplomats. Trade Rights Alliance, we will give Beyond Souls over to you. Very generous. They're well off in terms of wealth. We're going to ask for a bit of money as well in return for this favor. How about uh, five grand? We don't want to overdo it. Very generous still. Okay, let's see. Let's make the offer. I accept there we go. Good. Proposal, then. An honor and the Alliance have started. They didn't get a garrison, so Dol Guldur is likely going to take it back. But we've started the alliance, and Orthordir is safe. The Mythor Ethowire is also safe. We want to retrain them. Let's go back to Erindolan, retrain this army there, and prepare it to take Beyond's Holt back, because Dol Guldur is definitely going to take it from Lothlorien. I'm sensing it. Construction complete. Practice range, Emun Nufuin. Good. Get the archers. Get them. And over here, uh, go for the barracks. Go for the barracks. Go military here now. That's the only building we finished. Woodland Sentinels have been completed over at Thranduil's Halls. That's excellent news. These are some great archers. Eight missile attack. We've started the Alliance now. You are going for Vrakjaberg. Can we upgrade Vrakjaberg? Yes, we can do that now. Let's upgrade that. Dalen Cavalry, go back to Vrakjaberg. Can we get him out? Yes, we can. You are going to move into Vinya Menegroth. This guy is going to go to Rakeberg. And you are going into Eelstone. Let's see if we can move on from here. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Good. I'm playing a bit risky here with Leoglas. I think... Um, move forwards a bit. Where's the spy? We're going to send in the spy. We have... 32% culture here now. We don't have the artist studio here. 
so the spy might stay there for one extra turn, and then he will move to Eelstone. And over here, let's go for the artist studio. Conqueror of Beyond's Halls, uh, exceptional counselor, two authority, one public order, acumen, five plus to tax as income, okay. Veteran, one plus command attacking, two renowned, one plus command defending. Authority is getting quite great, and I'm so happy that we did manage to get him out of there. Get his army retrained over at Erindolen, and then we're going to move out again and try and reclaim Beyond Souls. And maybe Leodholt as well. We have a mission on that region. Ten turns. We need to take it before ten turns have passed. We should be able to do that, I think. Alliance announced. Alliance announced, not alliance. I, I have to end this episode here. I'm, I'm really, maybe I shouldn't have recorded today because I'm not the, the greatest host. I feel like I feel like my like my commentary is seriously trash at the moment. Um, go forwards, follow the roads. Really would like to find out what they have in this army. Cab? No, we won't be able to see. One general, Black Shield Warband. You, of course, I could use you and spy with you. Black Shield Archers and Snow Orc Scouts. That's not too nice, actually. That's not too nice at all. Well then, we don't want to, to fight these guys. If they can group up together. If Leogolas could fight this army on his own, it would be an easy victory, most likely. But if these guys would reinforce, then it wouldn't be such an easy fight. But then again, if Leogolas goes after this army and take, takes it out, which would be easy to do, these guys, I don't think we can reach uh, Mount Gundabad. These guys, they might recruit more units. And we don't want them to recruit more units. If we attack Gundabad with this army now, they are likely going to sally forth. I think they are going to sally forth if we attack Mount Gundabad, Gundabad with this army here. Oh, is there anything I can get? Any mercenaries? Can I get any mercenaries in this area? No, no Sons of the Fallen. I was hoping for some Sons of the Fallen there. Sadly, we didn't get them. I, I don't want to move these guys out of here either, because the goblins might attack us here. For the light. Yeah, you are going to go down there, but we're about to lose that region. Or, or Lothlorn is about to lose that region. You guys are instead going to move over there, Swiftly. to the northern front, to make sure that we win that area. Okay. What do I do? I need to make one choice here. I don't think we have the movement point to... to take one. To take this army out and then go for Gundabad. I think what we need to do is to take this army out and then try and move for Gundabad and hope that they don't recruit more forces when we end the turn. I think that's what we need to do. But that's something I'm going to do at the beginning of the next episode. I'm not going to do it now. I think it's sh it's likely going to be that, uh, that we go after this army and destroy that army. I'm thinking that it's likely going to be that. But who knows? What do you guys think I should do? Because I don't think we can win if, if these guys reinforce this army. We don't have enough. But this army alone against this force would be quite easy. Legolas can just assassinate their general. Well then, sadly, that's going to be it for this episode. I, I'm out of time. I am out of time. It's This was a clunky, weird episode. I'm sorry for the commentary in this one. It hasn't been great at all. It's been rather weak, if I do say so myself. But we've done some great things, though. We have made sure that Orthordir stays alive. We, had, we have started the alliance with Lothlorien. Your so that's a great thing. 
without question. So the script is finally going to start. Oh, a Glarik or the Sycophant is inside of Lothlorien territory. Well, Lothlorien is still belonging to Lothlorien. It's looking like they're getting attacked constantly by Dol Guldur. Pollen Goldur. I, what is this name? Pollen Goldur. I've never seen this one before. That's a cool name for an elf. Pollen Goldur. Hopefully you can try and attack this guy and maybe weaken him. Okay, well, I hope that you've enjoyed this week episode. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all.